Hello, traders. Gary Wagner here. It is 1241 in Honolulu, 641 in New York on Friday. Happy Aloha Friday, as we say on the islands. 15th day of March, 2024. And this is uh, the evening report for Gold and Silver, our weekend review. Traders, gold did close lower to finish off the week today, giving up $7.10. That is 0.33%, close at $2,159.40. With that in mind, I still believe that even though we have come down substantially from the highs that we saw last Friday, as well as the recovery that occurred on Wednesday, gold has been extremely resilient in light of reports that indicate upticks in inflation. That being said, my sense is even at these lower prices, gold is forming a base just above $2,150 per ounce. Although the dollar was higher, it was only fractionally higher, up 0.06%, which meant that the headwinds created did not really affect the price of gold or silver today. The dollar index is currently at 103.443. Today's gains in silver is more proof that the relationship between gold and silver for a large part has decoupled. Silver gained 35 cents. That's a gain of well over a percent, 1.28%, to take the June contract to $25.62. We are looking at June because our trade recommendation earlier this week in silver recommended going long the June contract because the March contract will come to first delivery day notice relatively soon. Considering that this week's CPI took the sizzle out of this recent parabolic rise in gold, taking it $25 lower, I was surprised at the recovery that occurred on the following day. However, when the PPI report came out, it added to gold trading lower but still maintaining its price point above 2150. Market participants, I believe for the most part, have entered a wait and see period in which they want to know how it will affect the Federal Reserve's monetary policy and what, if any, decisions they have made to change or alter that will occur. We'll find out on Wednesday because at this FOMC meeting, the conclusion will include a SEP summary of economic projections, which includes the dot plot. Considering that this week's CPI took the sizzle out of this recent parabolic rise in gold, taking it $25 lower, I was surprised at the recovery that occurred on the following day. However, when the PPI report came out, it added to gold trading lower, but still maintaining its price point above 2150. Market participants, I believe for the most part, have entered a wait and see period in which they want to know how it will affect the Federal Reserve's monetary policy and what, if any, decisions they have made to change or alter that will occur. Of course, we'll find out on Wednesday because at this FOMC meeting, the conclusion will include a SEP summary of economic projections, which includes the dot plot, which will look at the projected year-end Fed funds rates, 24, 25, and 26, as well as their anticipated longer run. The Federal Reserve is committed to normalizing interest rates, bringing them down roughly to 4.6% by 2024, in 2025 to bring them down to 3.6%, and then in 26 to take the medium interest rate that the Federal Reserve sets as its Fed funds rate to 2.9, with the anticipation in the long run they will set it at 2.5. That is normalized rates. If the dot plot remains fairly consistent with the December dot plot, I think that that has been factored into current pricing. Therefore, traders, my recommendation is to maintain your current long position as well as your good till canceled stop. To say the least, silver has been absolutely more resistant than gold when it comes to reacting to the inflationary data that was released this week. As I said, June silver is currently at 2562. We also went long this contract month at 
$25.46.5. So current pricing is above our entry price by a little bit. My goals in terms of where I believe silver could go is it has minor resistance at the 78.6% Fib retracement at $25.85. But the brass ring, so to speak, begins at 2636. That is the opening price that occurred on December the 4th. And of course, the top is the golden ring, and that comes in right below $26.75. If this rally maintains its current steam, I expect it to at least challenge $26.60 and beyond, finding major resistance at this price point, the former top in gold that occurred on Monday, December the 4th. Maintain your current long position. Maintain your current stop. This has been Gary Wagner wishing you as always good trading. We will talk to you after the weekend for the next daily update and review. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.